Good evening. Thank you um, to the board for allowing us to recognize some more of our athletes. Uh, the previous month, we recognized uh, some of our fall groups, and we are going to recognize the rest of them this evening. Cross country is going to be the first group to go, and the cross country team, both boys and girls, had a very successful season, and the girls um, team was part of that group that had just an outstanding fall season where we saw four of our girls teams win district championships. So, Jordan Stone. Uh, thank you very much for having us. Always good to have an opportunity to talk about uh, the outstanding kids that run for me. Um, this year, we had 45 boys and girls uh, who were members of the cross country team, one of our bigger squads that we've had, and 11 of those kids ended up earning postseason honors. Uh, most of those kids, I believe, are here this evening. Uh, from a team standpoint, uh, this year, we always start with uh, conference championships. Our, our baseline goal every year is to try to win uh, the MAAA conference. Uh, this year, the boys and girls both won uh, conference championships for the third straight year. Uh, we felt really good about that. Uh, and then, as uh, uh, Coach Bacon just said, uh, the, the girls winning a district championship 
uh, was very exciting for us. We're in a particularly tough district, and uh, winning that, that's our first district championship in nine years. We felt very excited about that, and those girls went on uh, to uh, finish fifth uh, at the state championships this year. Last year, we were 16th. Uh, this year, we were fifth. Uh, next year, we're hoping to be on the podium uh, at the state meet. Uh, so I want to recognize our individual uh, postseason honor earners. Uh, we'll start with the boys. Boys, I will just have you guys, when I call your name, stand and just keep standing until I've worked my way through uh, all four of you. Uh, first, Ethan Anderson. Uh, this is Ethan. Ethan is a junior uh, this year. He won our Boys Most Improved Award for the second consecutive year. Uh, very impressive. Uh, and he got his first postseason honor this year. Uh, he was MAAA All-Conference. Uh, Mason Currington. Uh, Mason, Mason is one of the uh, most promising young runners in the area. He is a freshman. Uh, missed qualifying for the state championships by just one place. Uh, and he was also MAAA All-Conference. Uh, Ryder Hunt. Uh, Ryder. Ryder's been with us for a long time in cross country. Uh, had a great season this year uh, and was both in AAA All-Conference and All-District. Uh, so great, great job to Ryder. And then Adam Perry, uh, back there in the back row. Uh, Adam uh, this year uh, uh, had a phenomenal season. Uh, he was uh, the MAAA Individual Conference Champion in cross country on the boys' side. Uh, just the third Farmington runner to be conference champion. Uh, in cross country, and he was also uh, all district. Uh, he was our team MVP uh, and had a great season. So these are our four boys. Thanks. Okay, and I'll recognize uh, our girls uh, as well. Uh, first, uh, Lily Early. This is Lily. Lily came over uh, from softball a couple years ago and had a really, really tremendous year this year for us. Uh, she was all-conference. Uh, did Brianna make it? Okay. Uh, Brianna Eves is not here. I think she's at work. Uh, but also uh, was all-conference for us this year. Uh, have Chloe Wood. Chloe's off. There we go. Uh, so Chloe, uh, Chloe had a real breakthrough performance for us this year. Uh, she was one of our JV runners last year, ended up one of our top varsity runners this year. Uh, she earned our Girls Most Improved Award. Uh, and was also all-conference. Uh, Christina Ramos. Uh, Christina uh, has, has been with us for a long time, uh, the, the third of her sisters to run for me. Uh, Christina was all-conference and all-district both uh, this year. Uh, Elena Spar. Uh, Elena uh, has, has all sorts of uh, recognitions at the end of this season. Uh, she was all-conference. Uh, she was all district, uh, she was all state, uh, finished 15th at the state championships, uh, and she was also uh, selected to the dream team uh, for girls cross country. Uh, and then lastly, we have uh, Bree Mathis. Uh, and uh, Bree, a very similar uh, looking list, uh, but added to that, uh, Bree was the MAAA individual conference champion in cross country. Uh, very impressive. It's her fifth in a row. She's been the MAAA Individual Conference Champion uh, in 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, and 11th grade, all five. And uh, she was also the Individual District Champion. Uh, she was All-State uh, and was also selected to the Dream Team. Uh, definitely uh, two of the top runners in the area there uh, with Elena and Bree. And all of these uh, five ladies here in addition to uh, Brianna and Ellie Henson, who are not with us tonight, uh, those seven girls were the members of our district championship team this year. Okay. Thank you. today are either at a wrestling meet or basketball practice right now. But it is my honor and privilege to introduce key members of the 2020 football team. It was a great group of young men who worked hard 
and did everything that was asked of them. This has allowed them to achieve success both on and off the field of play. First uh, young man I would like to introduce is Carter Barnes. Carter received all conference, all district, and all region mention. Jake Bishop received all conference mention. Braden Bodkin received all conference, all district, and all region mention, was a member of the KTJJ Dream Team, and recently earned second team all state. Brady Cook earned all conference, all district, and all region mention. Judd Cunningham earned all conference, all district, and all region mention, as well as being named to the KTJJ Dream Team, and recently was honored with a first team all state award as a defensive lineman. Drew Felker earned all conference, all region mention, and was also awarded academic all state. Caden Files earned all conference, all district, and all region mention. Kale Kraus earned all conference, all district, and all region mention, and was recently named first team all state. Grant Larkins earned all conference, all district, and all region mention. Logan Maxson earned all conference and all district mention and was also named to the academic all state team. And Wyatt Westbrook earned all conference, all district, and all region mention. These young men were part of a football program that in its first year as a class five program finished nine and three. In going nine and three, they finished second in conference and was a district finalist. Two of the three losses were to an undefeated state champion Jackson program. And as the smallest school in all of class five football, they finished with a final ranking of ninth in the final class five poll. Again, I'd like to congratulate the members of the 2020 football program. Thank you. Evening, everyone. First of, first of all, I'd, I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Rubel, thank you to the board, thank you to the Booster Club for all your support. Uh, this season, we first of all, we're very grateful to play. In these trying times, you know, these uncertain times, we're very happy to actually get a season in. All right? Everyone needed to adapt, work for each other, you know, look out for each other, which was, which was really, really amazing to see all the all the players and parents come together. Overall, we are proud of these boys. They worked hard, all right, a lot of dedication, a young team, and I think we are moving in the right direction to see, to be where we wanna be, all right? And we have a good group of boys and parents. It's a pleasure working with this group and also a pleasure working for the district. This year, we had three players who earned postseason awards. First player, boys, could you stand up? First player was Chase Gallagher, senior, all district, three goals, four assists, team captain, always led by example, always give 100%, expecting big things for him as he moves on. Uh, Brenna Gallagher, sophomore, all conference, all district, one goal, two assists, Another great season. This player always shows poise on the ball, shows ability, and always shows class on the field. Our last player, Kate Blackman, sophomore, all conference, all district, five goals, seven assists. One of the most dedicated players I've seen. Puts in the work, always on time, always wants to, to be better, and it gives 100% all the time. So again, I wanna say thank you have a safe and Merry Christmas. Thank you. So board, once again, thank you for this opportunity. Students and parents, you are welcome to stay for the remainder of the meeting, or if you choose, if you want to leave now, that is fine too. Thank you.
pleasure to be here this evening to be able to recognize our uh, feature teacher and our Heartland hero. First up, I'd like to ask Jenny McKenna to come join me. She is our um, TLC's featured teacher. And tonight, Jenny has her family, her mom, Mrs. Tebow, and her two kids, uh, Parker and uh, Ava, here with her this evening. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> Jenny is a uh, 2019, or 1997 graduate of Farmington High School. She went on to earn her teaching degree in SEMO as well as her master's degree. In 2002, Jennifer started her teaching career with Farmington School District as a substitute teacher and then paraprofessional. And she's been with the Farmington School District for 15 and a half years, teaching for a total of 16 and a half years. Jennifer served on several different committees over the years, but this year she is leading our science curriculum committee, um, our safety committee, as well as um, a social committee. Anyone who knows Jenny knows that she likes to have a good time. And she, uh, when I asked her, I said, can you just tell me a little bit, a, a most memorable moment? And her memorable moment comes uh, from a story where she walked into class one day and found a bug on the floor and some teachers don't like bugs I don't know they get really you know <laughs> really um, squeamish when she sees a bug so she addressed it with a custodian said that she found bugs in her classroom and could sh the custodian help her out and the custodian said sure she'd take care of it well the next day when uh, Jenny came got into her classroom and opened the door she found pictures of bugs and fake bugs and she'd open a drawer and find a bug or open a book and there would be a bug so the custodian as well likes to have a good time and uh, got Jenny with a few bugs but just just like the custodian Jenny has a great time in her classroom with her students and I'm very serious when I say this she runs an outstanding curriculum and classroom her students are challenged daily um, she you might go into her classroom and find students weighing pumpkins or participating in gallery walks or or even a small group project uh, her students engagement level and excitement about learning is at the highest degree because they're learning through exploration and she encourages them to be inquisitive her students want to know why mrs matina uh, when I asked her students what um, they could tell me about Mrs. Matina, and they responded that Mrs. Matina is a lot of fun and that they love her. Another student said Mrs. Matina is the best teacher in the world, in the entire world, and she helps me with my work and helps me read better. Mrs. Matina goes above and beyond in everything that she does. Students leave her classroom with the love of learning at school. And she has the natural ability to provide an atmosphere of respect. That's another thing that I can tell you that sets her uh, apart from some others is that not only does she build those relationships with her students, but she teaches her students how to build relationships with one another. And that's really, really important. Mrs. Matina collaborates weekly with her peers, but it doesn't stop there. She supports our new teachers by mentoring them she goes above and beyond, checking in on them frequently and supporting their needs. Uh, Mrs. Klimper, I asked her what she could tell me. She is uh, Mrs. Ment Mrs. Matina's mentee. She says she has a method to do uh, for everything that she does, and she's willing to share that with her, and that it's made her first year teaching much easier because of that. She also describes her as her work mom. So. Uh, I just would like to say that Mrs. Matina is always willing um, to do everything that she can for her, her students in the, in the classroom, as well as our fellow teachers in the building. And I appreciate her very, very much. Um, so I would like to congratulate you, Mrs. Matina, on being our um, featured teacher for True Women Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, thank you, ma'am. Would you like to shake oh, their yeah. hand? Oh, sure. Would you like to shake the boy's hand? Oh. 
Are we shaking hands? No. No, we're not shaking hands. So sorry. High five. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm proud and honored to work for Farmington School District. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Next up is our Heartland Hero. And this year, whenever I sent a memo out to the teachers to recognize our Heartland Hero, it was unanimous. The teachers wanted to... Uh, recognize Nurse Brittany as our 2020 Heartland Hero. So Nurse Brittany. Brittany Tinsley is a 2003 graduate of North County. We won't hold that against her. <laughs> She's began working for Farmington School District in 2014 and has been a school nurse at Truman for the last seven years. Brittany has been an, a nurse for 13 years, uh, having experience in labor and delivery, postnatal care, post anesthesia care, in the operating room before becoming a school nurse. When I asked Nurse Brittany what her most memorable moment at TLC was, it was really funny. She said that, she said, oh wow, there's so many. I have always said that school nurses should write a book. There are things that we hear and see you just can't make it up, from head injuries to cuts, bumps, broken bones, fevers, tummy aches, asthma attacks, allergic reactions, seizures, and diabetic care. You just never know what a single day might bring. You could never predict what a four or five year old's going to say either. So one feminine memory that sticks out in her mind is a little boy who liked to visit her, op her office often. He came to her office and she was on the phone and he quietly reached into his pocket and pulled out a dollar bill and slid it across her desk. He looked up, she looked up at him and he whispered, so I don't have to wait. <laughs> Nurse Brittany didn't obviously accept the bribe from the little boy, but she did get a good laugh out of it. Our students at TLC have a way of making you feel pretty special for being the school nurse, she said, hearing there's the nurse or hi nurse in the hallway. They, can, they definitely do have a way of making you feel like a celebrity. Unfortunately, Nurse Br Brittany re recently resigned as our school nurse to have more time to care for her family and their responsibilities. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to introduce to you our new school nurse and she's here this evening and that's Olivia Armstrong. I would also like to take I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce uh, the rest of the school nursing staff. I asked um, well before that before I asked Olivia uh, to come to the to the board meeting tonight nurse Brittany helped Olivia over her last week at Truman get acclimated with uh, the responsibilities of being a school nurse, which made for a really smooth transition to Truman. So I asked what Nurse Brittany what advice she would give Olivia, and she said, I would say as it, with any nursing career, you're going to have your good days and you're gonna have your hard days. Just know that those hard days are worth the impact you're having on our students. You're appreciated and you're making a difference in the lives of our students. Ask questions, make connections, have some fun, and take a lunch break. So at this time, I would also like for the Farmington School District nurses to please stand, and they're here with us this evening. I sincerely mean this. I would like to recognize that team of nurses. They are just that, they are a solid team. Uh, beginning last March, our world changed due to COVID-19. And since then, there have been many changes to procedures, safety measures, documentation, meetings, planning sessions with Dr. Kraft, that this group of ladies have, they've done an outstanding job. They've taken on this challenge and have led our district with professionalism that could, got, that could not go unrecognized. They've continued to spend countless hours with administrators, parents, teachers and families teaching and leading, providing their knowledge and application to support our students. I would like to take the opportunity to say thank you. And we appreci appreciate everything that you have done and continue to do for our district. The TLC would like to recognize Nurse Brittany as well as our other school nurses as our Heartland Heroes.
in favor? Thank you. Bond issue, Mr. Rule. Yes, uh, Mr. Krause had to be out today, so I have the recommendation and information. Uh, we received uh, three bids for our indoor practice facility, uh, one by Brock Miller Construction, one by Boyer Construction, and one by Steelsmith Engineer Steel Buildings. Uh, we would like to recommend Brock Miller Construction at $795,200. That is uh, roughly 10% lower than uh, the other bids. So Brock Miller has done fantastic work for the district for uh, many years. And again, we're, we're excited uh, to be able to work with them Again, this is not just an activity uh, building, but also we'll have locker rooms for multiple sports that right now do not have locker room space. And you know, it'll be used by track, cross country, baseball, softball, football, flags, uh, and it'll have flexible locker room space. So we're very excited about this. This is in that phase three of our uh, bond issue work, and we're excited to be able to finally uh, get, get the land resolved and uh, make this recommendation. Any questions? I would entertain a motion to accept on the consensual agenda 7.01 through 7.04, if there's no questions. So moved. Okay. All those in favor? I would entertain a motion to accept 7.05. All those in favor? I would entertain a motion to accept 7.06. So moved. All those in favor? <coughs> now I would entertain a motion to adjourn to closed session. Motion to adjourn to closed session to discuss personnel pursuant to 610.021, paragraph 1, 3, 13, and 14. Yes. Freeman? Yes. Hahn? Yes. Payne? Yes. Watson? Yes. Noble? Yes. Howard? Yes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a great night. Merry Christmas. Merry